I'd say the only complaint I had from shipping was some contact rubbing between the tent shell and the crate. It appears they had a piece of foam between the thickest part of the tent and the crate top and the foam slipped down during transport. This was allowing the tent to rub the top of the crate. My suggestion would be to tape the foam in place. Luckily they had enough layers of plastic on the shell to keep it from damage. I really like the look of the textured ABS shell. Undo the latches. Insert the key that they gave you. Unhook it from the bottom latch on the bottom. It looks like you have to relock it in order to get the key out so the key will not come out unless you put it back in the lock position. Now looking at this, this is an actual lock. It's not just a, 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 uh, a dummy lock. You can't actually move it without the key in it. I know some of these rooftop tents um, once you get it open, you can actually take this with your, hand, with your finger and move it, but this is actually a lock. Alright, to undo it, hold the button in, push it down, and pull it off from the bottom. You can also put that back in. And the way you do it, if you hold that open, you can kind of see a little track in there. Just got to make sure that when you put that in there, it is in that little track. Just like that. And then open the lid. Alright, looks like we got an accessories bag here wrapped around our ladder. Hold it off. Alright. Set that aside for now. on everything. Everything is no damage from what I've seen uh, on the earlier pictures. And you have to get a little bit of aluminum metal shaving, so definitely be careful. Make sure you clean things up. Looks like these are going to be hooking the rain fly to. There's your LED strip held on by Velcro. Looks like here's your back ones. Go ahead and tilt the ring fly back. All right, so inside the tent, looks like we've got an extra light, two extra lighting strips. Looks like these have um, a waterproof style connector on it, which is kind of nice. A little bit better than uh, some of the other ones I've seen. Um, in here, you've got your metal rods for your awning. 
uh, for your side doors and your, your rain fly. You got your instruction manual and it looks like they gave you some replacement uh, plastic replacement plastic uh, covers for screws and things of that nature. You've got your two shoe bags that hang on the outside. They're vented in the bottom. So if you have wet shoes, it'll drip out and won't stay in there. Two of those. And then you've got the accessories bag uh, that was wrapped around the ladder. So you could use that to keep wrapped around your ladder or just use it for some additional accessories. Here is going to be your installation hardware. Give you a, a nice little zipper bag. Here's all your connections for the LEDs. Five volt uh, USB connection on one side. LED strip uh, on off and probably bright and dim. I'll test these out on camera so that way you guys can see what uh, what they are. And then here's your installation hardware. All right, so here I'm gonna test these LED strips that came in here, these extra ones. It looks like the connector is keyed. like it may not be 100% waterproof but it definitely is weatherproof. It's a cheap little battery pack, one amp output. Middle one is power and then you've got uh, dimmer, brighter and then if you press the middle one again looks like you got like a white and amber and then you just have amber and then off. If you're familiar at all with other rooftop tents then you'll understand how the metal poles go for holding out your window awning. Slide them into the pocket underneath and these pockets are riveted on. Uh, it seems fairly sturdy at this point but we'll, we'll see how time will tell. Bend it up, make sure, you're at, make sure the hook is facing outward. Just run it through the metal grommet and that's all you gotta do. Alright so inside the tent this is your basic layout. Uh, one thing that I was interested in when I was considering this tent was I noticed that the uh, bars that support the top of the tent on the front are actually inset. Looks like about four inches on each side, on that side, and on that side. All right, so I measured the mattress across here, and we're looking at 57 inches. 57, 58 inches wide across the head. In between these bars is 57. In between the two um, shock towers. Just like down by the feet, you're looking at a maximum of 40, 46, 46 inches. In between the two towers, it is 47 and a half. In between the two, two towers, the mattress is in a little bit from that. So you're looking at 45 and a half. For the mattress size. Uh, our length, overall length, we're looking at 77 and a half for total length. Looks like our mattress material, it's pretty thin, honestly. It's, uh, you know, you're probably going to need to put some additional additional padding underneath but looks like you've got a felt uh, felt insulator then you've got a water vapor barrier uh, a breathable water water vapor barrier and then your mattress which is uh, one and a half one and three quarter uh, for the mattress thickness it is actually a fairly fairly firm 
Um, but if you're a side sleeper, your hip is definitely going to dig into this, uh, so you'll probably want to get something. Now, I've got to say, all these mattresses are stuck together. They all, they're all Velcroed together, um, so you should have minimal sliding around of the, air, of the mattress. Uh, so everything is all Velcroed together, which that's kind of nice. Climbing in. Uh, one thing I like about this tent that uh, was not, it was a little bit different than my other tent is where the placement of the lights were. Uh, so this one, the LED light strip, is uh, sitting towards the back and on the other one that I had, the LED light, LED light strip was on the front bar, so when it was on it was generally in your face and it was kind of bright, it wasn't dimmable like these, so this is kind of a nice nice upgrade for that. Uh, as you can see it, it is blackout material, uh, all taped seams, the back material so something else that I was looking at. So this is, it is a slightly uh, uh, insulated material. Um, so that will help if you do winter camping, this will help uh, for the insulation on the, black, on the back. Um, another thing that I saw was really nice is these have, so there's a hook here. There's a buckle in this corner. There's another hook here and another buckle in this corner. So um, if you wind up um, getting an insulation set up, um, I don't know, that, I don't think they sell one for this tent in particular, but you could use that to make your own insulation setup, which I might be looking at trying to do. The windows are basic setup. You've got your bug screen on the outside. You've got your uh, tent material on the inside and then you have your uh, awning on the outside. On each side, you've got a, uh, a pocket with Velcro on it that you could put. This just has the battery in it that's running the lights right now, so that's kind of nice. So you have that on each side. So you could probably put a water bottle. Put a water bottle in there. Uh, that's about the only um, pockets for organization. I guess uh, maybe those hooks up there are designed to uh, more hold the organizational bags uh, that they give you. If you're not going to use them for shoes, you could hang them from, hang them from back there. Uh, that may be my guess when I get out and look at the bags a little closer. I'll, I'll see. Uh, but that's about it from the inside. Definitely has plenty of space. And then these flaps right here, this is just to cover up the, the uh, air gap for where the tent folds out. Yeah, I'd say my overall first impression of this tent is pretty good, especially for the price point. Once the weather warms up a little bit, I'll get it mounted on my Jeep and do a review on the mounting and the use in cold conditions. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment below.